Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Fit, and I try in this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily edit and make your photos pop if at all you don't have Capture One. And this is going to be done only in Photoshop. And as you can see, this is a raw file right here that we want first of all work with. So before you go into a color grading process as a photographer, simply hit the like button. And like I am saying, before you proceed as a photographer, always make sure to make sure to get the light and co contrast issues regarding your image right or correct so this is what we have for this image and first of all what i'll do i'll just come to my highlights and drop them a little bit down and drop my white slightly come and add some contrast to the image and open up my shadows a little bit i'll slightly brighten the image just like that then I'll take up the temperature because I tend to prefer slightly warmer images to edit or color grade. So after correcting the lighting and contrast issues, we are going to make the model stand out. And this is going to be basically more of the photographer's preference. So usually I prefer some sort of muted greens because I want the greens to be a little bit of more on the blue side to complement the model and make her stand out in this case. So I'll scroll all the way down to my color mixer tool or if at all you have an older version of Camera Raw, you can simply use the HSO option. So for my case, I'll just come to my hues right here. First of all, and hue is basically changing a given color. So if at all I want to change the greens, I'll simply play around with the slider and you can see the greens are going to be changing. So when you move the green side towards the right hand side, you're going to make the greens more like the color below it, which is the aquas. And moving it towards the left hand side, you're going to make that color or the greens look like a color on top of it. So that is how basically the hues work. So I'll make the hues more to the aqua side. And this is going to make them pop a little bit more. And you can see the model is popping out of the background. And I'll still do the same for my yellows, just like that. Make them more to the green side and as you can see greens are now oversaturated. So I'll come to my saturation. Remember saturation is the intensity of a given color. So I'll just come to the greens and simply take down the saturation just like that. And also take down the saturation of my yellows slightly just like that. Until when I feel like the model is popping and standing out a little bit more. So after working on the lighting and contrast issues and even the background in camera raw, you're just going to work on the skin tones after this. So just come and open the image into Photoshop. Hit open and the image is going to open into Photoshop. So after opening the image into Photoshop, this is what we are going to be using. We just want to even out the skin tones of the model. So if I told them to zoom in, you can see that we have this unevenness right here in this area. And we have different skin tones all over the image. You can see a face is somehow different from the neck. We have some magentas. And also the face itself has yellows, magentas, and varying skin tones. So that is what we want to achieve. And we get a warm or a uniform kind of skin tone. So we are going to come right here and select the gradient map option. And when you select it, it's going to apply the gradient all over the image. So don't, don't mind or don't worry about this first step. So just come and make sure you have selected the gradient icon right here. Make sure this icon has been selected right here. Simply come and hide the gradient layer by clicking on the eye icon right there. And simply left click on this color option. So just want to map the colors from the brightest color in the skin tone to the brightest color so from the darkest color of the skin tone to the brightest color this is for the dark and this is for the brightest color so simply single click on that color and click once again on the color option it's going to open up the color picker tool make sure the sample is set to 5 by 5 average so zoom into the image and you sample a color from the, dark, the darkest point of the skin so i'm just going to sample this color and hit ok do the same for the brightest point of the skin right there. Click on color once again and choose the brightest point of the skin. Hit OK. And click in the middle right there. 
set the location to 50 so just come right here and type in 50 so that it can be in the middle single click on the color option and choose a mid-tone color of the skin so I'll just choose that as my midpoint and hit ok and now you can see that it has mapped the colors from the darkest point to the brightest point of the skin tone just come and simply click ok right here and right now just come back and activate the color option right here and you can see the color is affecting the overall image and this is not even close to skin tone or skin color just come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color right there and you can see it is a little bit more contrasty than it was initially before so just come to this layer mask icon so now just come and click left click on the layer mask icon and simply invert this effect so inverting is going to hide the effect behind the black mask the effect is displaying because it is on a white mask remember in photoshop white is going to show and black is going to hide so with the white selected simply press ctrl i if at all you are using windows then for mac simply press command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide the effect just come right now and select the brush tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected or pass the flat hundred percent and if at all the brush is showing a plus icon simply click on let simply click on the caps lock key right there so just come and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can reset by pressing d on the keyboard to change these colors to black and white and make sure white is the foreground color and you can switch that using this arrow key right there so make sure you have white as the foreground color meaning the brush is going to be white in color so by painting using a white brush we are going to be revealing what was hidden all the colors that were hidden behind the black mask so i'm just going to do a very fast job right there so don't, don't mind if i told you paint extras because i'll be showing you how you can erase or paint away the extras you may have painted regarding the color grading process and as you can see this may be a little bit too much but we are going to be also fixing that in this very video so i'm just going to paint on the skin paint on every area that has skin and you can see right now the skin is looking a little bit uniform but it is a little bit too much and we have done a slightly heavy color grading so to reduce on the size of the brush you can use the bracket keys or the open and close brackets on the keyboard just paint like that so like i said if i told you i've painted extras just come and switch the brush back to black make sure black is on top and you can come and zoom in to have a more precise painting on the skin so i'm just going to come and paint on only this the extras that i had initially or accidentally painted just like that so if at all you don't have capture on, you can use this kind of technique to achieve a better skin tone or color grading or even achieving uniform skin tones for your portraits or your subjects so i'm just going to do a rough job right there so erase it from the eyes just like that and also from the lips just like that and if at all you have made a mistake you can switch the brush back to white and paint back the color grading in some specific areas so just like that we have been able to paint and color grade so if at all the effect is too much for your liking this is how you can fix and work on that just come the opacity right here and simply drop down on the opacity because less is more so i'm just going to do that and you can see the before after before after right now we have a uniform skin tone and we have a very nice and uniform color grading process and now the model is turning out and popping and also has a uniform skin tone so this is the before after before after before and after so this is how you can easily edit your raw photos and make them pop only using photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronis from ronis photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more amazing videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating